Hi, it's Tuesday. That means we are working our legs. We are sticking to real time. Um, it's strength week, so they're not as explosive moves, i.e. with the massive cardio in between. Now, if that is something that you love to do, by all means, you can take these 12 exercises and add a cardio move in between. But remember, next week, we're back on it. So why don't you just enjoy this week, really push yourself with some heavy weights. Remember, you, you're adding today to yesterday. So Monday and Tuesday, try and go back to back, okay? I really want to see some really good lean muscle definition by Friday. It's gonna really push you this week. I find that splitting up the body parts is way harder than what we normally do because you're really isolating that muscle and you're gonna see changes and we need to make sure that we're always switching it up. So today there is a move that I was luckily enough to be doing my warm up this morning and the uh, Atlanta Hawks were downstairs, NBA, and ballers were all over the place. So I, I didn't steal it, I just went, oh, I'm having that. I'm going to put it in my video. If it's good enough for the NBA, then it's good enough for body rockers. That's what I thought. So I've stolen one move. I'll let you know which one that is when I, I'm doing it. I don't want to give it away. So we've done it before, but I just figure if they're doing it, we can do it, right? Yeah. Let's do it. So your first, your first round looks like this. So you jump in and out. Why do I give you a cardio for the first round? Because I want to make sure that even if you have warmed up, you are definitely warmed up. So 50 seconds of just mild jumping gets that body nice and warm, okay? Uh, make sure as well, leg day, really good stretches at the end. So think about that. So are we ready? I'm going to put this up here. You've got 10 seconds, and I'm going to start with the first move. So you're going to do those jumps. I'm going to do your first move, which is a squat and press. Two, last one. Let's get them legs nice and warm. Nice, simple squat and press. Got some new moves in today. So we need to make sure that we've got nice warm quads, nice warm hamstrings, don't want any accidents, knees are not going over the toes, you sit right back, you pull your abs in, head is high, and you breathe. You should be jumping, you've got 28 seconds left. Push, all the way up, all the way down, getting those quads nice and warm. Try to make sure that you're dropping real low, drive on up, all the way down, control the move. 14 seconds, push, Big weights today, big muscles. So go a little bit heavier than you normally would. You can always drop down. Three, two, last one. So your first move, you need the equalizer. Carry on, you're doing squat and press. I'm gonna start with your first move. So you're gonna put the bag on your back and you're gonna squat, uh, lunge, one leg. This is your first move. If you want this more advanced, making sure that your knee does not go over your toe. If you want this more advanced, this is how it's going to look. Lunge and press. This is the advanced version. Remember, you can always do this on the floor without the elevation, but you're going to feel this. 20 seconds. Nice and controlled. We're not rushing this week. It's strength week, remember. All the way down, all the way up. It's not as fast as normal. It's nice and controlled with really good heavy weight. Come on, all the way. Nearly there. Squat down. Change sides. So how are you going to do this one? Are you going to try and elevate like me? Maybe do it off your couch if you don't feel comfortable doing it off your equaliser. Are you going to try and press like me? Remember, your knee cannot go over your toe at the front. Your, all the weight is going onto that front leg. Coming all the way down, all the way up. Take it down and up. It's quite awkward on your equaliser. So if you want to do it off a bench, or off a small table, try it. Or a chair. Might be a little bit easier, but try your best. Just go all the way down, all the way up. Keeping a straight body line. Legs day. Strength week. Push. 11 seconds, come on. You can always put your leg on the floor, remember. You can always do that, but try not to. Work. Time. Awesome job. So, new move. So,
So we're going to step out, then come in. Step out. Notice this time my leg that's outside my bench is straight. I'm coming all the way down and I sit back. Sit back. Come up. Sit back. Come up. All the way. Well done. Come on, you should be doing those lunges. It's not fast this week. It's not about speed. We've done speed. This is week eight and it's strength. It's completely different. It takes completely different stamina. But if you go heavy, you will feel these all the way. Four, three, two, last one. We change sides. Just making sure that I'm keeping up with everything. I am. So, all the way out, get your lunge, dead on, and then step all the way. So sit back. Good job. Come on, push. Down. Down. Come on, all the way. Squat down. Really go for it. Really enjoy the change this week. Really enjoy the change of using some big weights. You're going to see so much difference next week when you can get it really explosive again. If you've just done this with day one, you'll know that your arms are a little bit tired, but your legs are fine. So you can push hard today. Just using those legs. Keep going. Time. Awesome job. Uh, grab a weight for your next one. Let's get some balance involved. Two, one, one leg pogo. So come all the way down, come up. Uh, you might wobble a little bit. That's okay. Don't worry about that. It's because you've got extra weight involved. Uh, I prefer to do it same leg, same arm like this. Which, how do you want to do it? Come on, strength week. You should be doing those side lunges, feeling it on those inner thighs, outer thighs, big glutes, 17 seconds. Ten seconds, come on, push. Seven, four, three, two, Wow, it pushes you in a whole different way this week. You asked for this, so that's why we're bringing it you. So enjoy it. You asked for more weights. You asked for more strength. A little bit like, for those of you that joined Edith, this is her type of training. Nice and slow, controlled, weighted. And it's awesome. So join in. Get involved. Give it a go. You can always take the weight away. What I want you to concentrate on is using that quad that we've already used. By the way, might be a little bit tired. This weight is so awkward to hold. 20 seconds. You've got to try not to put your feet on the floor. You've got to try and balance. Eight, you're going to be stronger one side than you are the other. Five, four, Three, two, did that take all your concentration? It took all my concentration. Okay, I'd like to thank the NBA Atlanta <laughs> team for this one. So we squat down, come up, press up, one leg only. Lunge, sorry. Come up, press, step back, lunge. Come up, press. We're ballers now. We're training like ballers. That makes us even more awesome today. Strength move all the way from the ballers of the Atlanta NBA. Yes, sir. Hawks are in the building. All the way down. Come on, push. All the way up. Again. Look at what we're doing. It looks so easy. Putting all your weight into one leg. All your weight. And the extra sandbag weight. Into one leg and controlling yourself. That's core, that's legs. Everything is involved. Join me. I'm gonna turn my time around. Four, three, two, 
change sides to lunge, come up, then press your knees together, lunge, so I'll tell you what puts me off, why I wobble, can't be helped, it's the camera in the corner of my eye, going around, so I have to really concentrate on different parts, can't be helped, come on push, all the way down, come on, should be sweating like me now, all the way down, making sure your knee is not going over your toes, try not to touch the floor, eight, five, last one, here comes sweat, thank you Atlanta NBA for that one, Here's your next one. You jump up, you jump down. Now, if you don't have a board, that's okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the end of your oogie ball or your ball, and you're gonna come up and jump, up and jump, okay? That's what you're gonna do. So, but if you've got a board, you're gonna squat, touch it, squat, touch it, keep it low. 24, explosive. Keep going. 17. Come on, jump up. Jump from the bottom. 10 seconds. Slow and controlled. Come on. Should be doing those lunges. Four, three, two. That's one. If your legs aren't dead, they will be now. Uh, ready? Use your couches. Or if you've got a bench, you can use it. Change legs, sit back, come up again, using all of our weight into one leg. But this time, we get up and we get down. Functional training at its best. Come on, use your leg to really get your whole body off the couch or the settee, or whatever you call it. We call it settee. All the way down, all the way. In 15 seconds, should be doing them jumps. Should be feeling the burn by now. Five, four, three, two, last one. Let me see it. It's your last exercise. One leg. So you don't need to be jumping around to be out of breath. You just got to go hard and lift heavy. I'm on what you started on. I can feel that on my arms from yesterday. That's for sure. Push. Come on, push. Come on, all the way down. Use your whole body to lift you up. Twenty seconds. That's all. And then Tuesday is smashed. Legs day is over. Are you going to do it again? What are you going to do? Did you do Monday and Tuesday? Are you going to just kick it like I do? One, add in one every day or week. Three, two, last one. You're done. Tuesday's workout. Legs day is smashed. High five. No burnout today, but if you want to do a burnout, there's plenty of them in the plus. So head there, see what you think. Let me know what you did. Did you go for a run after this to give yourself a bit of a burn? High five, everyone. Have a good day.